Hello guys and welcome back to our Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time where we want to finally awaken the hero of time. So let's get right into it. We are actually worth 150 rupees right now after in the last episode we did the little Mask of Truth side quest and now we are finally good to go with about 18 pieces of heart or heart pieces whatever and 43 golden skulltulas already to enter the Temple of Time. There is. We have all three spiritual stones in hand and we want two. Put them right here. There are three hollows and an inscription here. Ye who owns three spiritual stones, stand with the ocarina of time and play the Song of Time, here at the Temple of Time. <laughs> that is how the inscription reads. We definitely want to do that. It's actually quite a while ago that I played that song. I wouldn't even have remembered how to play it, but... I looked it up before, so we're good to go here. And this will be one of those episodes again with a lot of storyline, obviously, a lot of text, a lot of uh, monologues and stuff. So it might be a bit shorter than the other episodes, but um, I don't want to get into any more details after we uh, became an adult. So there it is, the Triforce. Yoo-hoo! Ah, uh, beautiful, isn't it? I mean, ruby, emerald, and sapphire all in place and we are allowed to yet again destroy the universe. <laughs> that isn't that? Yes, it is, Navi. It is the Master Sword. Exactly like we left it, if you haven't seen it already, at the end of Skyward Sword. The Master Sword! Yay! So guys, should we do it? I'm I'm really not, I don't feel that comfortable, but okay, I mean, whew, let's do it. And we did it. I'm so happy. <laughs> Excellent work. As I thought you held the keys to the door of time. Shit, what have we done? You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. Yes, I owe it all to you, Kit. Damn it! I told you, we, we shouldn't do it. We should have just gone back to the forest, you know. Damn it. Nerd. I guess that's him talking. Wake up, nerd. The chosen one. Is it? Seven years have passed and... Yep, it's him. Okay. <laughs> So, right gender. That's uh, Rauru. Ah, there he is. 
We're a bit confused. I am Rauru, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. This is the Chamber of Sages inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the sacred realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the sacred realm. Nerd, don't be alarmed, look at yourself. Yay! So we've grown quite a lot for seven years, but for a ten-year-old, I guess that's pretty normal. Look! Oh, look, nerd! You're big now! You've grown up! Yay! The Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the hero of time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. And now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the hero of time. Well, do you understand your destiny? Yeah, I guess so. But remember, though you opened the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry guys, really, I really am. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light and with its power he became the King of Evil. His evil power radiated from the temples of Hyrule and in seven short years it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only little influence even in this sacred realm. Namely this chamber of sages. But there is still hope. The power of the sages remains. When the power of all the sages is awakened, the sages seals will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. I, Rauru, am one of the sages and... Your power to fight together with the sages make you the hero of time. The hero of time chosen by the Master Sword. Keep my spirit with you and find the power of the other sages and add their might to your own. Namely, fire, forest, shadow, water, Light right here and ghost? No, I don't really remember. Fire, water, forest, shadow, light. I'm missing one, damn it. Find the other sages and save Hyrule. Temple of Time. So the next time we do this, it will be a lot quicker, actually. Oh, not! We're back in the Temple of Time, but... Have seven years really passed? It looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Damn it. Let's get out of here. Oh, who's that? <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Hero of Time. Link's secret lover. <laughs> or no, let's let's say Link's secret love, actually. <laughs> Not secret lover. When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. One in a deep forest, 
one on a high mountain, one under a vast lake, one within the house of the dead, one inside a goddess of the sand, together with the hero of time the awakened ones will bind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. And there he is, our second great ninja in the game. As I see you standing there holding the mythical Master Sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. Be sure to do that. One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl I am sure you know. Yeah, it's Soraya. Who would have thought? Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But, if you believe what I'm saying, you should head to Kakariko village. Do you understand, nerd? Yes, I do, because we need to enter the dwell. I think that's how you pronounce it, I hope. To uh, get the hookshot. As some of you may remember from an early episode where we actually got Soraya's song. Um... She was already sitting in front of the temple, but the entrance is, uh, well, high above the grounds, and we need the hookshot to enter it. Oh yeah. So Death Mountain right now looks even creepier. That's for sure. And... Um, well, before we actually get that hookshot, that will be the, not the next, but the episode after that. We first want to get uh, Epona, finally. And, oh, let's see. Ah, great. We have Hyrule Town Market filled up, or let's say flooded, in a way, <laughs> with Redeads. Isn't that awesome? <gasps> God damn it. And that is what is left of Hyrule Castle. We don't really need to go here right now, but I wanted to show you for the end of this episode. Isn't that kind of scary? It's Ganon's castle now. Man, love what you did to the place. No, <laughs> actually we don't. But um, yeah, let's just look down here. Wow. God damn it. That definitely is kind of scary, but it will take a lot of time until we actually need to return here. And another, not side quest, but another obvious thing we need to do later in the game is open that seal over there, which we are not able to do right now. And for those of you who already heard the Skulltula, I don't know if we are actually able to get it right now. Oh no, oh no, Link. <laughs> Let's see. We're most so, uh, most certainly not supposed to do it, but I mean, we could, we could simply try. I don't know how, but we could. I mean. It's a fun trial and error for the end of this episode. Whoops! So there is our Master Sword, and... Should we leave what Sheik said and go to Kakariko Village? Yes, we should do that, but first of all, I want to try something out here because I'm... I don't know, I'm kind of curious. Okay, so that worked well. And right now... I'm... <laughs> I'm actually... 
Oh, let, let's just do it. I mean, it's that's certainly a trick or a glitch as well, but let's just try it. Ha! We did it! Great. <laughs> you destroyed a gold skull tool, or you get a token proving you destroyed it, and that will be... An unfortunate turn of events. <laughs> Great. So, guys, sorry, that, that certainly wasn't planned, to be honest, but <laughs> we did it. I'm really happy with that. And, um, yes, I would like to save another time, and then we will finish off this episode out in the Hyrule field. Another thing I just quickly want to show you, we don't need to go in there right now, but the uh, pot smasher room, so to say, we'll just quickly make note of that. Now is the ghost shop. We don't need that now. That will be another side quest later on. And till then, let's just get out of here. So as you can see, no more drawbridge, nothing like that. And another um, good thing actually is that there are no more monsters in Hyrule Field. So you, we have those Poe's right there, but that's pretty much it. So no more uh, skull kits or what they are called. No more uh, peat heads or pea heads. So uh, actually Hyrule Field is the only place in Hyrule that got a bit more peaceful through the time. And with that we are standing in front of the Lon Lon Ranch and uh, well as I told you, it's a short episode, so I hope you liked the episode again. A lot of storyline, not really much to do, but we had that really cool uh, gold skulltula there at the end. So that was, that was, I guess, worth watching, I hope. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. I forgot to say that in the last episode, I, I think. Um, if you haven't done so already. Click last episode to uh, watch that lengthy side quest again where we got the Mask of Truth from the Happy Mask Shop at Hyrule Town Market. And if you can already do so, click next episode to see us getting our favorite horse, Epona, here at the Long Long Ranch with a very funny race we actually need to do. And be sure to tune back in right there. See you then. The game crushed. And with that, I will say thanks for watching. Bye, guys.